Coach, what have you been working on on practice uh, heading into this next road trip? Uh, we've actually spent a lot of time this week on our defense, uh, trying to dig some more balls, trying to get our defensive players in uh, a little better position, trying to get them a little more aggressive, keeping balls off the floor, uh, getting our digs you know, a little bit higher so that we can be in system and have more hitting options. Uh, and so that's really the last you know, two and a half days is, is what we've done. Um, you know, today's practice, probably 95% of it was spent in, in that mode. Um, trying to take a little emphasis off the offense, off the, the hitting por or the serving portions of things. Uh, and we've spent a lot of time there in the last few weeks serving. You know, we've had our issues over the last couple matches, but uh, you know, honestly, I just tried to completely take their minds off it for a few days and, uh, and all that. So you know, it was really the, the defense that we pinpointed uh, coming out of last week that uh, you know, we were kind of lacking. You know, blocking, we had done sol a solid job, uh, which had been kind of our focus last week. So it was one of those where, you know, let's take the next step and let's you know, get ourselves in system. It seems like uh, lately Krista Freitas has seen more of a hitting role uh, in addition to her defensive role, and she's uh, really stepped up well. She has. You know, she's been a right side for two years for us primarily. Uh, we moved her to the, to the left side in the spring, and, you know, not that it was a, a battle or a fight on her part. It just wasn't as comfortable, and it really took until, you know, most of the way through preseason for her to, to find that comfort and you know and I've seen it in her entire game uh, you know she's she's performing well offensively because everything else has fallen into place as well she just is, is more comfortable she's taken on you know maybe a little more of a, a leadership and, and vocal role since we lost you know a couple that you know had 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 some of those roles uh, in, in the past and so she's really you know really stepped up she's really matured over the last you know few weeks especially but you know for sure over the last year your uh, next matchup is against New Mexico State. Uh, just like everybody else the rest of the way, a team you've already seen once. So what would you learn from that match that you can use on Saturday? You know, we've watched a, a lot of film on them lately, but I, I have definitely gone back and watched our, our first match with them. Um, you know, we stuck to our game plan in the first set, and it was very successful. So there are ways to be successful against them. Uh, we're definitely going to go in with you know, some similar thoughts that way and you know, make sure that we're sticking to whatever game plan we come up with. We've talked about it a little bit, but uh, you know, not necessarily anything I need to talk about on camera. But uh, you know, sticking with the game plan, there are, you know, there are weaknesses. They definitely have a lot of strengths to them uh, as well. But uh, you know, some of their strengths you know, play into things that we've been working on and then gotten better at this week in practice. So you know, we're going to go in. We're going you know, to have that fight. We're going to be aggressive from the service line. Um, you know, the serving and, and the passing game is really a, a big component of it. And then uh, you know, we just got to beat the block and, and get you know get the ball into their backcourt, and then anything goes at, at that point.